at 6.30 at the meeting room town hall. May I have a motion to open uh, our meeting? So moved. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. We are being audioed and videoed. Okay, we'll stop right there. We have a guest this evening that would like to speak to us, a David Goldrick. Okay, Mr. Goldrick. Thank you for seeing me. I appreciate this. No, no problem. I bought a house here in Akushnet, 1994. Okay. We moved in, and I'll just bring these forward so you can see the pictures. Okay. It had a sign from your commission. Ah, oh. Nathaniel Tabor. It's on Wing Road, 78 Wing Road. It doesn't look familiar to me. The sign was on the house when we moved in. And someone took it? No, the sign is still there. The problem is, is we're restructuring our finances so we can retire. So we went to a cheaper carrier for house insurance. Mm -hmm. The Board of Assessors keeps telling everybody that we're getting in touch with that our house was built in 1976. So when I go to confront the insurance company and tell them their information is wrong, mm -hmm. they cancel me. So now, two years later, now I'm paying $2,000 more for house insurance because nobody believes me that this house is old. I mean, if you look at some of the pictures, you will see that it definitely is old. I mean, you know, this is... This is not a house that was built in 1976. And um, this is another barn that's attached to the house. And we had a realtor come by to oppress our house for a second mortgage. And he went to town hall. And the assessor's board told them, well, the only one that may be able to help me is the historical commission, because that is your plaque. And yeah. Will we have it on the list, Pauline? I mean, but other than that... It may be on the list at but, home. But other than that, have you... I mean, I, I'm not taken away you? from where you were going. Probably. But just just throwing a couple things out there. Right. Have you been to the Registry of Deeds? Uh, no, not yet. I would... I'm working see, on would, it. I would try to get documentation from the Registry of Deeds. And I looked at and maps from the historical, yeah. the old Dartmouth, and there was two maps, but neither one of them showed the name of the owner of the house, because one was like 1864, and the other one was 1891. So I didn't get anywhere with that either. But I mean, you know, I know this is a post and beam house. I've seen the inside mm -hmm. in the walls, and it's stone construction cellar you know so what are you trying to prove the age I'm the trying age to prove of the, the age of the house yeah but you're trying to prove that it's old or it's newer that no, it's, that old. it's old the assessor's board because i don't want my house to burn down and somebody say well this house wasn't built in 1976 we can see that for yeah. sure yeah so i've not wanted to do that so my did you did you go before the board of assessors or did you speak to the assessor in the office no the real estate agent that we had oppressed the house told me he went to the board of but assessors. you yourself have no you i have spoken with anybody no i what? just wanted to check to see if you had any we probably I got think, the, rec got the records at home i think where you should start yourself personally i would say those two places number one the assessor because you know what happens when one story goes to the next you yeah. know and i think yourself me personally if it was me i would be at the assessor's office speaking to the assessor um she's pretty approachable kelly Costco, and then if you, you don't get what you need there i think i would be trying to get as much information as possible to present if they've been giving you this hard time the problem with the town hall, and i want to tell you right now with the assessors i've gone there many many times and the records don't go back because they had a fire back in the 50s that destroyed the records downtown downstairs yeah so they don't have 
old, old records. But the registry of deeds would. Would. And we may have, I may have uh, information on this at home yeah. with, from Erwin Mox, when the yeah. signs was originally going up. I believe a lady came to our house about 15 years ago. Yeah. And wanted to see the sign because her daughter was involved with some kind of school project that put that sign on the house. Nathaniel Tabor, 1884. I found a sail maker that was born in this town at that time and he's buried over at Riverside. It's Nathaniel S. Tabor mm -hmm. with with the E. Yeah. Instead of the O, so I was the realtor said I should go here, so I said okay, okay. I'll do this. Your first stop. The address is what? Seventy-eight, 78 Wing, Road. Wing Road. All right, this is what I can do for you. We, I have a uh, seventy-eight Wing Road record. Um, possibly seventeen nineteen. That old, even older than that, because the sign says 1884. 1884. Wow. 78 Wing Road. Philip Taba? Nathaniel. Oh, Nathaniel. Taylor. Wow. The plot thickens. Let me go out to the car. I'll be right back. Oh, thank you. I do appreciate it. I got the big book. See if the picture's in there. But I think still, I think it... I can't carry that big book. I still it. think it would be in his best interest, regardless of whether they have the record or not. Because I understand what you're saying, and I dealt with my house prior to what I have now, mm -hmm. was listed, and it's funny because it was listed as being built in 1900, but it was built in 1978. You know? <laughs> yeah. And, and I, I didn't really even yeah. care. And, and it was the opposite for me because it's... They're acting as if it's older than it actually was, you know. But and I, if I had to place a wager on it, it probably still says built in 1900. But the, their records here are not up to date when it comes to old homes. I've been through this with Sue many, many times. Mm -hmm. When I'm doing research on old homes, their records don't go back that far because they lost them all in a. But fire. I think, and I don't want to get caught in a crack here. You well, know, I between know you don't. that's what why I'm honestly representing. Yep. And what? Yeah, and like where Pauline said, you know, with the fire and the records and the issues, um, I, I that think that's why it would probably be a good idea to get whatever information you can, and we'll provide whatever we can provide yep. for you. We're that's what I'm hoping. Yeah. But yep. at the was same time. Was it owned? Who owned it before you? Actually, it was the bank because it was foreclosed on. Oh. It was a truck driver. Oh. It got in a messy divorce. We looked at it while it was on sale. We couldn't afford the price, but then we foreclosed and the bank took it. Okay. And we bought it that way. Give, now, me, do you give have me a minute to find deeds? it. Yeah. Do you have some old deeds? When you bought the property, you signed deeds. You don't have any of the all, old ones? All, only, only the one that, the current one that, and That's that where was the, the of deeds comes in. Yeah. You gotta go back. Because they'll present. go way back. I mean, they'll go back to, till that was just a lot without a house on it, you know? They go way, way back. And if, are you on the computer at all at home? Yeah, yeah. You should be able to access them online as well. You can only go back County. so far though. I tried. You can only go back so far. It's worth a try, though. When just it gets to see. too uh, too old in yeah. age, uh, then you can't. There's mm -hmm. no way. For the and registry. They, the registry is. <laughs> you got to go there in person to really get to the bottom. Yeah, of you can You got to go down there. Yeah. And online now, they want you to pay for. But if I'm right, it's one yeah. of the oldest houses. This thing is not alphabetical of anything. <coughs> no. But did you put them the way I had them? Yeah, I didn't. Know. It's sort of alphabetical. In other words, if you got Main Street, they're in order. But they're not in order from Main, Main. to, yeah. you know, oh. MN. And, and you know what else is good? Google took a picture of my neighbor's house <laughs> and put my address on it. Oh, <laughs> oh God. And That's apparently so there's no recourse to that until... Uh, such time as they take new pictures. <laughs> yep. And I can't picture this house. 
I can't place him. Where about John Wayne Road? Just before the bend. Just before the bend. Yeah, it's like one, two. It sets so back like, a little bit from the street? Yeah, quite a bit. Quite a bit. Yeah, it's um, not right on the street. Yep, it's okay. got a bit of, and it's like third house on the bend, and you may have driven by it yep. because I do toy train repairs, and I have a sign on the front of the house. Oh, yeah. That's... <laughs> My kids were trying to get me to bring money on. I had my come on, that was an old GB. Oh. They were trying to get me to set it up in the driveway today. <laughs> <laughs> so, and and the house was just put together with the original house is the first pictures, but this is a separate barn. Yeah. This was added. I think this may have been a chicken coop that they moved oh. into it, <laughs> and that was a shed attached to the end. That so wow. it's like ninety. Eight feet long. Wow. And and all of the buildings, they were all post and beam, you know, with the wooden pegs and square oh, nails. I mean, you know, mm. you can't. That is old. Yeah, is. So that sign was on the house when you bought it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so that was probably done by how many years you've been there? 1994. And it was there when we got there. Mm, no, Irwin hasn't been gone that long. He's been gone maybe eight or ten. I got it. You got it? I had known you were coming this evening, I would have brought my extra paperwork too. Well, I've been trying it. to get here. I got snowed out one time. <laughs> I've worked other times. Yeah. And yeah. finally I said, okay, I gotta go do this because I really don't want to pay this much money for house insurance. Well, I mean, I may, but at least it's not going to be you, you, a company that's if fly the house by now. is old, you end up having to pay for more insurance than you do. I'm money. sure that I will, but I don't think I'm going to have to pay as much as. And if it burned down while well, I got in trouble, yeah, they could nail me on that. And yeah, I'd be, you know, falsely representing. Is that it? No. Ah, uh, nope. That's not it. Nope, that is not it. That's not 78. Well, that's what we go back to 78. Now, because if this is the front of the house, I've got a, a good few feet above. Unless it's the side or something, but... It doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't look like it at all. That's what we have at 78 Wayne Road. That's the one I was thinking of. And that, this is the one that's supposed to be... Uh, the Tabor? Philip Tabor. Yeah, but this one says Nathaniel. Is this one of our signs? It it looks like it, but I know I haven't put one up there. No, I know. And it would have been Irwin before me. It could be. Is it a metal? Yes, ma'am. It's a metal sign. That was Irwin. It's metal. Yep. And that down was on the very place. bottom it we says the Cushnet Historical Commission. Commission. Yep. Right on the bottom. Because the new signs that we have now are made out of a very hard plastic. Uh, no, this one's metal. That's That was Irwin. So that's not the correct house? No, not the one we have here. This one says Philip Tabor, Nathaniel Tabor, Ellery Tabor to George Jackson, Nathaniel Tabor, and Annie Tabor. Nathaniel Tabor? That's okay. What's the year? 
1884. Yeah. See, that's what's on the sign. But that's not your house. Like the picture. No, it's it's definitely not. <coughs> it's definitely not. Now I know they did a lot of interior renovations. No, that's but not. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't the exterior. You know. Do you recognize this house at all? No. One of your neighbors? No. Uh, oh my well, God. what man? Can I look a little? We really got a problem then. No, I don't think so because you got these two uh, windows on a gable here, and the front porch sticks out. So, and well, this is if this is this is seventy eight Wing Road. Back in the seventies, it was it was on. That's why I, this this one was owned by La Palm in the seventies. When did you acquire it? 94. Yeah, that's totally different. 94. Yeah, it's a Gambrill style yeah. roof. Two dormers on the front. Yep. Totally different. Yep. I think it's the same house. I, th I think that picture's wrong, but I think this is... The information... That I could, th this I could believe. Yes. The information could be correct with the wrong picture. Yes. And if, if you look at this, um, the Daniel Tabor is 1884. Yeah. Philip Tabor was the f the first one recorded, but at only six pounds ten shillings, it probably wasn't the house there. Ah. Uh, probably was land. Yeah, I think you're, land. Right. you're right. So the, the the house probably didn't go in until 1884. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's when it was recorded. That was the next date recorded, Bob. Yeah. And that was, but I think that picture is wrong. Yeah. This house that has the driveway here. Yep. And there's a, a garage or something back here. Yeah, it's an old barn. Yes. About the same. Yeah. Same age. Yeah. That's that's the parcel. That's the house. That's the wrong picture though. Well, I mean, this part we can straighten out. We can uh, go by. So anyway, 1884 is, according to our records for this, it's correct. And that, and that's why I think the registry of deeds will be will be beneficial for you. Because what what's on this back page here, the dates, the books, the page, mm -hmm. um, they're going to have all that information at the registry of deeds. But what you're going to find out is what's there. Yeah, and. In fact, this is an extra copy. You can take that. Oh, thank you. <coughs> That's a copy of that page. Mm -hmm. So if you go back and if you check with the registry of deeds, go back in your deed and you come up with uh, those book and pages, that's the place. There it is, but I don't see uh, the date would be just about at the bottom. You'll see the 1884. Oh, here we go, Philip. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that should coincide with what the Registry of Deeds has, which is going to also be recorded nine nine seventeen nineteen. That's wow. when the property was bought. That's when they bought the. But property. then, if you go up to the next one, <coughs> let me see. I'll show you. This is Phillips. Then it went to Hathaway. They don't. It, Oh, okay. Right here is where the Daniel. Oh, there's Nathaniel. Oh, okay. It says 1884. Oh, okay. And it's a book and page. If you look that up, you should see it. Oh, okay. thank you. Yeah. You go to the registry, take that with you. Okay. And, and this is the book and page that you need. But that's going to prove that it's old. That's not going to save you insurance. I think it will because the insurance company that they didn't like, once I told them that it was built when it was, they found all kinds of excuses to cancel my insurance, so I had to go to another account, another insurance carrier. Right, right. And then the next one made the same mistake, and even though I told them that it was built. So now I'm dealing with this cutthroat fly-by-night insurance company that didn't want to insure that little barn on the side of the house because they decided the roof was saggy. So I had it torn down. Mm. But after they tore it down, I found out it really wasn't sagging. Whoever built it, built it exactly that way. 
and there was no way that it could sag because it was all in creosote uh, goes right in. telephone oh, pole cross ties no, and uh, yeah, right. weren't going anywhere. So anyway. Well, I would try that and see. Yeah, I will. Don't, don't rely just on that page, though. I'll no. Go, go to the Registry of Deeds. I will. And look it up. And they're very helpful. Yeah, they'll, they'll, if they'll you point need you in help, the right direction. You know, they'll help you find the books and, and all that and show Excellent. you what to do. And uh, to make, get a copy of it and all that. Thank you very much. But Thank if you, you don't know. mind, what I'd like to do sure. is go by there and take a photo. Almost certainly do. So that we could have it in the file, at least for our records. Sure. Okay. So we've got the right picture with the right house. With the right yeah. house. Yeah, and don't go over the Google map. <laughs> because they're showing my neighbor's house. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe at one time, were they both on the same lot? I don't think so. His house, no, I don't think so. No? But looking at his foundation, it's uh, Knox Electrical. He owns, he owns that house. He used to live there on Wing Road. He's now over here on, uh, oh, what's the name of the, uh, it's right down the road here. In a question? Yeah, yeah. Garfield? Garfield, thank you. Oh, that was a gap. Wow. That's, that's where he is now. And I don't know where he's moved to, but now he just rents out that property. So he owns that, but looking at the foundation of his house, it looks almost as old as the one, you know, because the foundation yep. tells you pretty much everything as far as houses. Oh, go. yeah. Yeah. So. Well, I have I had a gentleman up here on Main Street that had called me and uh, we had a conversation about his house because he said, I know my house is old. And I think the town hall here, they were trying to tell him that it was built in the 70s or 80s or something. He says, I'm telling you, you go down cellar, you can see it's all the old rocks mm. yep. and uh, pegs in the beams and all that. Yep. And he said, it's a very shot ceiling, you got yep. to duck. Yep. I have to duck in my cellar. Yeah. I bump my head. See, it's <laughs> very old. It's very old. Yeah. Okay. Well. Well, I thank hope you. There was some help. Uh, I think you have been, and I appreciate it immensely. You know. And thanks again. Okay, you're Good entirely luck. welcome. Good, Good luck. Thanks. And come by any time for a picture. Okay, I will do that. Or well, train repairs. Yes. <laughs> I do have any train. Yes, or bring trains by. Yeah. <laughs> American Flyer, Lionel. All, all, oh, wow. all skills. All skills. Although. I'm getting a bit older, so I really don't like to work with Z scale anymore. Mm. They're just way too small. Yeah, the little stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, have a great evening, and I hopefully we and you too. helped you. And thank you. Yes, you have immensely. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Anytime. I my agenda. I left it. Oh, here it is. You put it away. <laughs> Okay. Um, has everyone had a chance to look at the uh, minutes from the March meeting? Yes. Good evening. Nice to see you all. Okay. Motion to uh, approve the minutes from March meeting. So moved. Second. Second. Moved. All in favor? Copy the Okay. Here. Okay. Under old business. Um, I have been working on those, the older properties to be considered for a plaque. I, d I haven't had a chance to even get at that book uh, to finish it. Once I do, I will bring copies in for everyone. Um, uh, the other, um, okay, the Historical Society has been asked to join the Grange on May 4th for the Grange Fair. Uh, we can set up a table and show the homes that have the historic sign. We can also sell history books, t-shirts, hats, if you desire. It will be from 10 to 2 on May 4th, on the Saturday, okay? So we are going to, I've already talked to Carolyn. We are going to set up a table. I talked to Carol, and she said she, you might want to do the t-shirts and hats. 
-hmm. We've only got a couple of history books left, so I want to bring that from the museum. We'll set it up on the table. Okay, uh, we got a couple of problems here, okay? Betsy Friedberg called me and said they were working on the paperwork for the church to apply for the NH des designation. Betsy wants me to send a letter to the selectmen to get them to approve moving forward for the designation. Well, I received a letter from MHC regarding the, uh, the church, and we need to answer because they've got a lot of questions. Okay. Um, this is regarding the Perial Church. They received all the information I had sent them on the, in the letter on February 9th. Uh, MHC first evaluated the Perial Church in 2012. At that time, we felt that it met the criteria for listing in the National Register of Historic Places. With the passage of time since 2012, it is MHC practice to reevaluate to see whether, in our opinion, the building continues to meet the criteria for listing. At its bi-weekly evaluation meeting on March 21st, the staff reviewed the new materials submitted by the Perial Church have some question as to the continued integrity of the building, which would affect its eligibility for listing in the National Register. As you have described the building as undergone restora restoration work since 2012, from the photographs taken before and after the latest preserva preservation work on the church, it appears to staff that the belfry has been replaced. Now, I took the old picture, original, and I printed this one out. I was running out of ink, so it all came out white. But you can see the belfry. Belfry was rebuilt because it was totally rotted away. It was not changed in any way. The style is exactly the same. So why they're questioning it, I don't know. They see, the new belfry does not match the older dimensions. All right, what was the basis for the new designs? Well, I mean, I got a question about that because it was rebuilt exactly the way it was. It was all rotted. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was one of their questions. Uh, there are also some questions concerning the interior of the church. Although the photographs you said show what appears to be an original stove in the rear left-hand corner, there are, are also two chimneys at the opposite end, which would indicate that there originally was a second stove in the corner. So I've got to write a letter yeah, explaining. You're making an assumption yeah. on something that is just simply standing. It's, story it's gone. Yeah, yeah. Because back in 1990, the minister that was using the building sold the two stoves and took all the piping down and got rid of it. Had nothing to do with us since we've taken over. So they're basing dimensions on what? I don't picture? know. I don't know. I sent them uh, the pictures before and the new pictures, and they're saying it's a, it's a new one. It's not the same. They're saying which is new? The, the belfry. belfry. It's just, it's it isn't. It was totally hey, rebuilt. And, and here's totally the thing. rebuilt. Rebuilt, but if it was if it was removed and replaced, the bell wouldn't be sitting on the old. Yeah, the bell is assembly that it's sitting on, and and that's what you should reply, Pauline. No, it was repaired. That's, yeah. But it was not removed and replaced. The bell is still sitting intact in its original um, position. That's what I've got to let Which we know. have the photographs of. It's the original. And if it was replaced and removed, the bell wouldn't be there. Look, there's the bell right there. Pauline. Yeah, it's still there. And that's where it's still sitting, just like that. So it was repaired. You get extra share of these? Um, I probably have these in this on. package here I had. I sent those to you originally, the large ones. Uh, the belt on them. That was some... Um, <coughs> this is when they were doing that all the restoration. That was this part of this project. This might have been might have been done up by Kevin Dakin. That was Kevin Dakin because he has yeah. that in the brochure. I've got one at home. Right. Yeah. So okay. that's where all these pictures came from. 
Well, yeah, they're saying from the photographs taken before and after, it appears to the staff that the belfry has been replaced. The belfry does not match the older dimensions. So if they're looking at pictures, what, what, they... what in the pictures is going to show them that the dimensions are not the same? I don't, I don't know. understand that based on a photograph. It doesn't... This I mean, was done in 2013. Yeah, so look at the dimensions here, yep. which is what the it, which is what the, the bell is sitting on. on. Yep. Right? The bell is sitting right where it was, and that hasn't been moved. So this platform at the base of the belfry is original. Thus the dimensions yeah. would be the same. Yep. Right? Could yep. I borrow these two pictures so I can make So copies? dimensionally I need to make a should be exactly the same. It, it, it is. obviously has been repaired. The, pictures the whole took, thing was totally the pictures you took show it's all over wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And the other thing Along we're questioning the prehistoric raccoon. Yeah. 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 But yeah, I mean so that would show you dimensionally and I think you can you can cite that Pauline that dimensionally it I'm was gonna the take same. these two pages, but I'll get them back to you. I I don't understand it because now, it was to, rebuilt. As to the rest of what they're asking, I mean that was just the initial yeah. on the exterior. Mm -hmm. But then when they're asking about the chimneys, the stove, I mean, that's that kind stove of, was that's easily explained. Yeah, in. that's easily explained. Ugh. And they know of that corner, we have no way of knowing if a second stove exists. So, I mean, that's... The original two we, stoves we, were gone in 1990. Right. So, photographs of the corner. So, I think like this, the whole middle of this paragraph I don't know how much of a concern that really even is. I think it's easily explained. And then when he's getting into the ceiling, he's asking. Yeah, he's asking about the ceiling showing inside. Showing the work. Speaking well, the ceiling, he might question because it's. Yeah, he wants to see the work. It, what it was prior to work it, being it started. Was changed. And that was. Then you've changed. got those pictures there too on yeah. the ceiling. Because Eric, you. And then they want to know what the plan is for recreating the ceiling. Well, the, the ceiling is supposed to be done in blue board over the insulation. Mm. Yeah, so it's going to be blue uh, board. But I wonder if he's talking about the lines of the ceiling. The lines of the ceiling has changed because right. with the cabling system yeah. and what had to be done to preserve it. You still have those pictures, Eric? I think I do. I'm seeing if I still got I have them, if not here at home. If you if you do, could you send them to me again? Yes. And I'll print them out. Yeah. I'll put them in a file and print them. And I don't even know this guy because I've been dealing with Betsy Friedberg and this is a Ross Deckel Preservation Planner. If anything was easy, it would be a miracle. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. just things are just not easy. No, no. Okay. Staples can sell all the easy buttons. But you can see it in this work. picture. Yep. Yeah. This is where the old roof was. Yep. Yeah. And the, the the new roof is up to here. <sighs> so it, it it it's changed somewhat. I, and they had to do that was because of the cables. I'm not sure why they had to do it, but there's the roof. There it is here. In fact, if you're in, if you're inside, you can see it. Yeah, you can see in the front you can see where the in, altar is. You can see it in this photo as well. Yeah, sure. There you go. Yep. Yeah, there it is. See. I see the roof line. And the other thing they questioned too was the holes in the sheetrock because of the blown insulation. Mm -hmm. But they saved all those pieces to be put back in again. All the plugs. <coughs> you know, and they questioned that as well. Yeah, yeah. There's two more after that. I may have, actually, I may have these pictures in my. Uh, no, you went the wrong way. That way, right to left. Oh, that was the uh, the uh, oh, ceiling light. The light. The yeah, light. yeah, the old light fixture. That's upstairs. I now, whose car is that? That's mine. No, that's just your only three pictures. <laughs> Next okay. you're going to see is Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs>
than the Porsche. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me borrow this one too, and I'll get it back to you. Okay. Um. So that's the, the next job I got to do is I got to work on that. And the other, the other problem too, I have a plan for the Avenue Street bit, a bridge. Now this gentleman from the state. Kurt Jerkinson, he's called me a few times already regarding Hamlin Street Bridge, and I don't know how it is, but the commission is the first one that is getting this packet to look over well, what they're planning on. Yep. Historic bridge. He said once we approve this or have any questions. I need to call them and let them know, and they'll finalize the plan. It's still there. We're supposed to do the meeting. It's still there. It's still there, but I think it's going. They were working on the bridge uh, last week. They were there two days in a row with the street blocked off, digging, digging in the dura. I don't know what they were digging for to see what type of soil. They might see how much cover is there over each culvert. Now let's see if this one is like the one you just sent me because this is an updated one. And they had talked about putting a sidewalk on the south side of the bridge so people could walk. And I told him that's not a very good idea. I said, if you lived on Hamlin Street and see the traffic we have in the course of a day, you would not put a, a sidewalk for people to be there on the side of the street, especially on the water side. Oh my God. I sent those to you. Oh, you did? Computer and your phone. Oh, okay. Phone is hopeless. I think I'm going to throw it out the window. That's probably why they want a sidewalk. No, no, no sidewalk. They've changed their mind. Definitely not. The town disagreed with it. Dan Menard told them it should not have a, a sidewalk there. Very bad idea. On the side of the uh, White's Farm, uh, White's um, factory. The mill. The, the sidewalk would go, I guess, from White's factory all the way on the south side to the end of the bridge all on that side facing the water. Mm -hmm. How wide are you going to make this street to have a sidewalk? And not only that, the sidewalk's going to be overhanging the water? No, no. I, I don't agree either. So they've taken it out. The town turtle was totally well, I against guess, it. I, it's irrelevant if they've taken it out. But yep. I mean, I don't know. Someone, they got to walk somewhere. Yeah, right. You know, so I don't think it would have been a terrible idea. Mm. They've got to, as opposed now to they gotta walking walk in the free. road. Well, it depends on how wide the road is going to go. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. There will be 20 feet. I so said, I guess it doesn't matter to even discuss it if they've already deleted it. <laughs> so. Well, I don't know. I said it actually shows it. But I disagree. I think the sidewalk would have been beneficial. It's only 20 feet wide there? Walter Drouse's house is the one they just sold. They sold it and the kid just sold it again. Hmm? I know, all I know is it's a year and a half project. And our street's going to be closed down. So is it. The coalition land, so does that include that house? The one they just recently purchased? The one in the back. Yeah, like so you've got the drive going down. You got the driveway, 
There's one house here that they just recently resold. Further down, you're going to see the fence across. That's all the... Uh, Conservation lane? Mm. Yeah. And they, the little uh, shed barn that was there, they rebuilt it. Mm -hmm. It's a new roof, new shingles, everything. They want to store the equipment in there. But there's walking how much, trails. How much land was there? Like how many trails? I don't know how many trails. I haven't walked yet. I'm not walking too good right now, so I can't. No, we were just at the sawmill today. Were you? I, I walked, yeah. Oh, at the sawmill? Yeah. I took the kids in. A nice day for them. They did a really nice job there. And they're saying, um, in fact, Scott had told me a while back, um, if you try to go in where uh, the... Let me get in the project. Where the heck's the... Uh, so north is here, so the factory, old factories are here. On this side, okay. So this is the south side here. Okay. Uh, where the trail would be in the back. I should remember. So we over <coughs> Yeah. All right, that yeah, gets right here, yeah. Out. Oh. Yeah, Buzzers Bay Coalition. Yep, yeah. yeah. He said something about if you put a canoe in the water, you can't get all the way through because there's a lot of trees and limbs. Yeah, Scott yeah, said that before. River. Yeah. So I don't know if they've done anything with that or not. I don't know if they've done it yet. I don't see much activity over there right now. The last thing they did was put the fence up. Taken is 25 feet, six and a quarter inches. The road? Yeah, the taken. Well, not the travel, but the whole taking of the road. Mm -hmm. And each lane is 10 feet wide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, I see that here. 10 feet, 10 feet. It's not all that wide. No. Not a very wide road, is it? No. No. That uh, bridge can be very, very scary. Mm. I know. <laughs> when you're going down, to, because they, right there at the end of the bridge is a little curve that goes this way. So if you're coming from my house going west, you know, you've got to come around like this because this curve, the cars are very close at that point. Mm. Yeah. Going over the bridge, you're very close. If there's any big trucks. Well, why do we need to see this? Just to well, they sent this to me. He called me on the phone. He wanted to see if the commission had any questions whatsoever on the plans, the design and all that. Is any of the old granite going to be left? Are they looking at anything historically there? Or are they just ripping it all out and uh, replacing it all? That's a good question. No? That's a good question because I don't know. Are any of those prints? What's going to be... Uh, Exposed. Rebuilt portion of existing stone wall. Trans transition to bridge rail. Existing guardrail. So what You're is just this? changing it here. You're changing it here and here. Mm -hmm. and these two here. Everything else is staying the same. Mm -hmm. It's staying the same. See, this is a uh, white factory is on this side here. See, originally they had told us they were going to do away with this, where the water goes under the mill. Mm -hmm. That was going to be done away with completely. But they leave it. Well, I don't know. Where did they go? The last one brought me right here. Rebuild existing stone wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And wall, guide wheel. Yeah, it looks like it's being left, doesn't it? Yeah. Because they're ready this piece here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Poor old factory. I know. It's a huh? shame. I wish 
it was something that could be done to at least alter in its current state. It's getting worse because stones are falling. You know, My club that was doing the work on it, he's uh, in bad shape. He's going to have to have a hip replacement. And um, what was his friend's name there? I haven't seen him around at all. Joyce Lopes' son. Mm. I haven't seen him around because he used to work with Mark. Okay, uh, question. So it looks like it's going to be 20 feet wide. Now the exposed, the exposed portion of the bridge or whatever is here, what's it going to look like? Concrete or? The roadway is 10. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be fitting with the rest of the? Uh, 25, but there is a 44 tank. The rest of the land over there. All the fingers. Rebuild portion of existing stone wall. She's on the last page. Existing guardrail. What's going to be new there, Paul, in this dock? The where it is here? Yes. Here? Yeah. Here and here. That's going to be a stone wall work right there. Rebuild the portion of existing stone wall. Mm hmm. This looks to be. This looks to be a little different than ours. I know she's docking it in. Yeah, I don't know. Is there a date on here? Twenty-one March. Water on. What you gotta say, Paul? Yeah. yeah, this one's new up, Eric. She's. This is an old one. This is February. An old one? Uh, they've already sent a new one to... Well, that's what it says, plotted on. February 5th, so... It's close. I guess... Yeah, because it looks like this... See this here? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's new, that's new. Looks like somebody took a pencil or something, docking it in. Mm. You keep that one, Paul. Can I see that? That's the one from the temple. Yeah. That was one of the best. Let me see that. <laughs> we would get in trouble for this one. That's the, the table price. Yeah. I could get a phone it's call a from. Uh, yeah, okay. I could get a, a phone Spoils. call from Brian. Uh, Spoils did, excuse me. <laughs> did you take something? <laughs> no. Times like this, you wish you were an engineer. Good 
uh, I have to give him a call tomorrow if we have any questions and I feel bad for that uh, you know the house right at the corner of the little lane to go down yeah. the house right here the ranch they sold it a, a lady bought it. it was in the paper last weekend but um, I feel kind of bad because she's got a driveway but people are going to drive in and out in and out to get to where they can walk the whole yeah. yeah you know there's not a lot a lot of room there right. and I'm sure they can't get any closer to um, Never mind the water. all that bridge construction that's going to be going on oh, oh. smack in the middle of moving. Oh, oh my god, can you imagine the dirt and dust? When is this supposed to start? I was told it's supposed to start this year. And it's about a, a month, 18 months project. Can you put this in here? No, this don't belong to us. <laughs> but I think I'm going to take it with me. <laughs> they want it back, they'll call me. Do we have anything on the old or new business? Yep. Yeah. Uh, no. Anything else on the old or new? No. Okay, let me take this. I got to write a letter. This is, goes to Pam. Okay, so. A paper clipper. Um, that's an Ollie. Do you like what? Paper clip? Cute. Can one. <laughs> okay. I went through all of uh, Pauline's book compared to the, the book that I had, and there was about 20 more houses in here than in the, in the book that I had. So I made copies of uh, what's been looked at so far from these two lists, which I, I gave you copies of these lists before. But uh, on both of these cases, there's a uh, this is supposed to be the historical building inventory, which I thought was covering this book. But as you can see, I put a line between the uh, the, the street number and the, and the street to show that there's something in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a lot of them missing. Yeah, that's the new list I'm trying to. Yeah, so there's a lot of them missing. So you guys can each have one of those. Then there's this other list which is candidates for historic research. Um, and this was drawn up in uh, 94. And likewise, I put a little line next to the street number to show that there's something in the book already on it, on these. And I've also written in the cut, uh, it says current owner, but it may not be the exact current owner, because I I uh, drew up this list uh, probably three or four years ago, maybe even five years ago. Or so it's a more recent uh, occupant than what was originally typed up, but it may not be the uh, current occupant. So I'll give you each one of these. That's funny, Bob. Right at the very bottom, seventy-eight wins. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Philip Tabor. What are the odds of that? Huh? Yeah, I know. I thought it's wrong house. Yeah. And then the other thing that I forgot to leave last month is this is just uh, some information on how to inventory a house, and it's got nothing to do with us. It's from Fairhaven, but um, it's uh, a guide that they have if somebody wants a plaque on their house, the people have to. Basically, do their own research, sure. and it's a, so it's a guide on how to do the mm -hmm. research. And it's, ju it's just what Fairhaven uses, so it's, it's good information. Might be able to put something yeah, together right. for us. For this Grange meeting, we're going to have on the fourth. Do you still have one more book? Do you still have the yeah. plaque? An extra? Do you need one you more? Still have the plaque? The original yeah. plaque we had made. One more. I've got. Uh, I've got the plaque home that I'm going to bring, okay. and what I'm doing is, you know the, the boards that fold out, yeah. the cardboard? Yeah. I've, I bought one of those, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in letters 
I bought the letters already to do it. Um, we have a, an old historic home and with like a plaque on it. I want to put the information, then I'm going to put some of the pictures that I already have of the houses that I already have plaques. So I think that it'll look nice on the table and, uh, you know, give them an idea of what they have to do. They can supply, if they can supply their, the old deeds, because I've had calls already where somebody bought a house in the cushion, thinks it's very old, like the guy on Main Street I talked to, and he did his own research. He went back and back and back, and he says, by this, my house dates back, I think, 17-something. And the town is trying to tell him it's 1970s so or 1980s. Mm. You know, I told him, you can't go by the assessor's records because they don't have <coughs> up-to-date on old houses. They'll have up-to-date on some of the newer properties because of the the town lost um, all their records. Okay, so we're going to May. All right, so May 4th, the Grange Fair from 10 to 2. Yep. Our next meeting will be the 21st of May. We're going back to the third Monday like it used to be. Okay? Third Tuesday. Yep. Third Tuesday. And then, of course, our society is the third Thursday of the month. So that'll be for May. So Thursday night, our meeting will be here on the, for the society. We won't be on camera, which is good. Okay, so... You, I mean, you can have this very old stuff. You can put that... Oh, good. ...back with that after. Oh, good. I don't need that. All I, right. I just put a bunch of stuff regarding Perry Hill in that folder. Oh, that would be great. I can always give this back to you, make copies of it, and send it over to the state and see if we can do anything with it. I did contact, um, I don't know if you remember the girl. It came to that very first meeting. She was a new resident here in Akushnet, and she was uh, she started out working uh, with the town. She was going to work with uh, Henry Young on. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I can't think of her name, but anyways, I called her and I spoke to her, and I told her what we were looking for. We're looking for a preservationist, someone that can do all the work mm -hmm. that is needed mm -hmm. for the National Register, and she said she knows a couple of students that are in the Rhode Island College, mm -hmm. which is good because that's the college that Henry Young went to. So, and he knew Ned Connors and all them, okay? So she's supposed to get in touch with me and let me know because if she can get one of the students to do it, it won't cost us anything. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we're looking at five, six thousand dollars. And you know what's gonna happen if we ask for that. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying our darndest if we could get that done for no charge would be a miracle. Then I could send a letter to the selectmen asking them if they would, you know, work along with us sure. to get it done. Because mm -hmm. that's what Betsy Friedberg wants me to do. That's the next thing. Mm -hmm. Can we go back to that, Freddie, that uh, Betsy Friedberg? If Betsy she's, Friedberg. she's talking about the bell tower. What about where the gentleman gave the new altar area? How was that going to affect? I guess n no mention of that at all. She never mentioned it. Okay. All right. You want those two? Yeah, you can send them to me, but I mean... I wouldn't uh, send that to him. No. No, to you. Well, no, to Pauline. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't yeah. send it. No. Okay. I mean, they've got pictures. I, I took pictures of inside, so they've got pictures of all the pews. They know they've been refinished, painted. Um, okay. The holes in the wall because of the blown-in insulation. They asked about what kind of insulation is in the building, blown in and rolled on the ceiling. Mm. And then they want to know what 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 the plan is for the ceiling. I know Scott had talked about one time about wood. I don't even know if we could go that direction. Okay. They're very touchy. You well, know? we've got to get through this with a response. 
and uh, hopefully was still on track. I was devastated when I got that letter mm. because I figured. Well, I think the the belfry is easily explained. You know, dimensionally, I would say it has not been changed. No, it hasn't. Which is evident, um, and the bell still being in its exact location. And still you know attached, that work had nothing to do with us because that was done with money that we got from CPC, but the town controlled that. They're the ones that hired the contractors to do all the siding, to do all the painting, to do the roof. We had no control of any of that. That was all done through the town. And the belt for the same thing. Really, we had no control of any of that. The only little control we had is when I had the two Boy Scouts that came in, one that offered to paint all the pews, which he did, and the other boy, the one that him and his father did the floor. Anyways, okay, so me next meeting will be May 21st. Anything else on the old to new business? Nothing? Mm -hmm. Okay, motion to adjourn. So moved. So. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right, 745.